I want to take a moment to update you on what's happening in Russia in response to the COVID-19 virus. Our brothers and sisters are meeting virtually for worship services now, and they are all homebound just as we are here in America. The COVID virus is just beginning to spread, and of course they all have a wary eye on what's going to happen. The brothers and sisters are faithful, however, and they've seen an increase in attendance on online, they've seen an increase in Bible studies, they've seen baptisms, family members of, of several members have been baptized even in the last couple of weeks, and there's so many uh, things that are happening that uh, are, are just a, a testament to, to God and His glory. However, they also face challenges. Uh, the Russian economy is based largely on, on oil. And as you all have noticed, uh, your prices of gas have dropped significantly in the last few weeks. Uh, that has a, a major impact on the Russian economy because so much of their industry and, and, and the ways that people earn money are connected somehow to gas, whether it's uh, directly or indirectly. And so it's, a, it's been a difficulty for many of the disciples uh, in terms of making money. Uh, the, in addition to that, the church, as it had to go quickly to, to virtual services and, and not meet together, they didn't have a really good way of collecting their contra weekly contributions. And so therefore, even those that are working, they don't have the mechanisms in place right now to be able to collect contributions that actually pay the salaries and, and take care of the work, the, the work of the church. And so they need our prayers and need our support, of course. And so I would ask you to pray for their Pray for the, the, the brothers and sisters in Russia. Pray for their faith. Pray for the economy uh, to be able to support uh, the work that, that many of them are doing. Uh, pray for them that they're able to uh, contribute. And I and also ask all of us to continue. I know as we face difficult times ourselves, uh, the ever-present need, however, is for us to be able to be sacrificial and giving towards missions contribution. And I pray that this year, like all others, even in spite of our own difficulties, uh, we would be able to give to them and to be able to help the work that's going on throughout Russia. You guys uh, stay safe and God bless. Dear brothers and sisters, I'd like to praise God for everything he, he is doing in Eurasia. And I'd like to thank you for all of your support, uh, love and help. Because of your support, we have about 40 young uh, ministers in five different, different cities in Eurasia. And last year, we had about 80 editions in uh, teen campus and young professional ministries. Uh, because of your support, last uh, couple of years, uh, we uh, translated into Russian and, and printed uh, five different books for singles, for families, for prayer. And only last year we uh, sold about 3,000 books. Last year we had first um, youth and family conference uh, for Asian countries in Eurasia. Uh, it was the first time because of your support, uh, families could bring their children to that conference. The children were so excited that after that we had eight uh, teen baptisms in five different cities because of that conference. So thank you very much for your support and praise God for all of that.